you know, it's, it was a little scary because that song was such a huge, you know, it's such a big deal for the Beatles and, and it was a big deal for us to even think about re-recording it. And um, it, it was kind of hard to find a new take on it because it was such a good classic song already. Um, so we really put our trust in Brad, our, our, um, our producer. He was like, please make this a really good song because it would just, it would be terrible. To, to completely botch a classic so we we you know we it was really cool to make a Beatles song jump by Beatles not really the same kind of genre but you know we were really cool but I think it'd be I, I love playing for small crowds and I think it's just it's you get to see people's faces and, and see the reactions instead of being in a, an arena and you don't see anybody, you just hear a bunch of screams. So I think it's cool to do both venues, but I think I'd prefer to do smaller places. Um, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Um, you know, just, they're there. I mean, it, it's the pros and cons for the paparazzi, you know. If, when you want to get your name out there, you know, it, they're right there and, and they're all for you. But when you want to have a private life and, and kind of keep to yourself a little bit more, it's just, it's, it's not so good. But, um, you know, just smile, wave, hopefully they get what they want, and then move on. Do I personally? Mm -hmm. No. No? No, nope, I don't, because, I mean, I am who I am. I'm not going to censor myself or limit myself because people don't want to hear it. And, I am who I am on stage is who I am off stage. So if you're going to see a picture of me on stage or off stage, it's going to be the same. I'll be dancing and, and crying at the same time. That's exactly it. Because uh, it's just, it's bittersweet, you know? It's going to be really sad, but it's, I'm kind of excited to see what's next. Chris said the same thing. Really? Yeah. And you probably get the same from the other two. <laughs>